running. There he is, blood, gore, intense, violent, news. I just want to make sure my audio is okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Tabletop Adventure here at Digital Woods. Woo! We got another 750 point game for you this week, and we're going to mix it up slightly. I'm giving you a shot at the Gene Steeler Cult, since uh, Mike hasn't had much luck with them. And I'll be running a very, I want to say a different build of them. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm going to be trying to face against him with uh, my usual fallback of Necrons. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go and get to the armies and get to the action as quick as possible. See you in a bit. All right, so here's going to be my 750 points of Necron Saratek, trying something different this time. Um, it's going to be in a battalion detachment, and on to Warlord. So my Warlord is going to be the Catacomb Command Barge, with uh, the uh, Staff of Light being upgraded to the Abyssal Staff. Uh, it's also going to be bringing a Tesla Cannon, and his Warlord trait is going to be Hyperlogical Strategist. Next down the HQ train is going to be my Cryptek with his Staff of Light and Canoptic Cloak, as per usual. As for Infantry, I'm bringing two identical groups of Immortals, all carrying Tesla Carbines, and it's just going to be two five-man groups. Uh, after that is going to be a single group of Necron Warriors, just... 10 Necron Warriors. After that, more uh, Elite or Fast Attack, I honestly forget which. Canoptic Wraiths, I'm bringing three of them, and they're all going to be equipped with Whip Coils. Uh, and finishing it off, I've got a group of five Death Marks, all with their standard Synaptic Disintegrators. And that's my army. Alright, and this is going to be my 750 points on the dot of Bladed Cog, Battalion Detachment of the Gene Stealer Cult. So let's start off with my Warlord. He is going to be a Primus with his Bone Sword as his standard kit and all the other standard weapons that he comes with. He will have the Warlord trait a Bio Adaptation, giving him slight bonuses to combat. And he will have the Relic Mark of the Clawed Omnisai, giving him some extra protection as he moves about the board. For my second HQ choice, I'm going to bring in an Icon Ward and I'll be spending a command point to take a second relic, and I'll have the relic of the Cult Ascendant, giving some more bonuses out to my troops. Speaking of troops, let's move on to troops. For my first two groups, I have two five-man blobs of Acolyte Hybrids. They will all have hand flamers, their rending claws, and the leader of each squad will have a bone sword, giving them their special in melee combat bonuses. Next up, I have two groups of neophyte hybrids, and in each unit there will be two mining lasers, a grenade launcher, and then the rest of the group will have themselves their auto guns. So getting some decent amount of shooting in there and taking advantage of the moving and firing heavy weapons bonus. Moving up next to my heavy support lineup, let's start off with a Brood Brothers heavy weapons team, and all three members of this heavy weapons team will be having heavy bolters. Next up, I have two identical Brood Brother Lehman Russes, and they're going to have battle cannons, three heavy bolters, and heavy stubbers. And that is going to make up my 750 points of bladed claw, bladed cog, not bladed claw, of Gene Steeler Cult. All right, and here we are deployed once again for a No Mercy Annihilation game mode. Uh, one point for each unit wiped out, first blood, slay the warlord, line breaker, and all in effect. Variable game lengths. Mike won the roll off for choosing deployment zones, and he chose, uh, what is this, Dawn of War, Hammer and Anvil, one of those two. Well, we never know. We yeah. never look it up. It's the long side versus the long side. Yep. Um, in Mike's Deep Strike, he's got a group of death marks. In Tom's Deep Strike, I've got two groups of Acolyte Hybrids, my Primus, and my Icon Ward, and I have set out with spending one command blip point of uh, five blips, hiding uh, my two groups of uh, Novice Hybrids, Neophyte Hybrids. Those are the ones. Mm -hmm. Still not quite sure if I can simply just put all of my other units into blips, because I would really like to be able to do that. That would be cool, to have an indeterminate amount of units just kind of in an indeterminate amount of places. Yep. All right. 
Uh, as it stands off, Mike obviously finished deploying first, as yes. he had way less units to deploy. By way less, I mean two. <laughs> so I will choose to go first. Do you want to attempt to deny? No. Well, actually, you, we have to roll to see if you still get that choice. Remember, oh, yeah, fair enough. We do it the plus, plus one. Plus one. Well, that's a tie. All right, well, then we roll again. Aha! Do you want to go first? Yes. I forgot a step. My bad. Uh, and you do not want to attempt. I do not want to attempt to seize the initiative. All right, in that case, Necron's turn one. So, after Necron movement, just kind of laying about here, I had the Necron warriors move up and advance just to get this nice little bowl shape so the uh, crypt tech could slide right in there uh, for nice protection. The Catacomb Command Barge shifted over into the middle. Uh, didn't move, just for now seeing what happens. Moved and advanced over to there. And moved and advanced past the building, up into the front line. And on Tom's side of the board... I, I'm forced at the end of Mike's movement to reveal where my Acolyte hybrids are. Not Acolyte, Neophyte hybrids are. And I put both of them in this side, outside of 24 inch range for any of his guns. And most of them out of line of sight anyway. Yeah. Right, with uh, movement out of the way, uh, on to shooting. I've got all but two of these guys uh, in shooting range. Because I am uh, Sarotech, I get to advance and then I'm capable of shooting still. Yep. So, uh, with that, I've got eight shots going in over there. From the warriors. From the warriors. Who, because I'm a nunce, I never gave them wave of command. To counteract the minus one to hit. To counteract the minus one to hit, so oh well on me. So hitting on fours. Four. Yes, hitting on fours. Four, one, two, three. I lost three hits because I'm a dumb. And wounding on, I'm actually unsure. Uh, strength four versus tough three, so threes. Sweet. Threes. Yeah. Two. And it will be two five-up saves. Five-up normally, plus one for being in cover. Minus one for whatever, so one wound. All right. <clears throat> and then that's it for my turn. Woot. On to uh, Gene Steeler's turn one. Turn one movement for Gene Steeler Cult. Moved up my two neophyte squads. Not worried about moving and firing heavy weapons thanks to being bladed cog. Both my battle tags stayed put and my heavy weapons team stayed put. No reason to move them. They're pretty well obscured for the vehicles and they can still draw a line of sights onto targets. So I don't have any psychers on the board and won't have any psychers. So straight on to, I guess, shooting. I'm going to start off with this unit activating first, and it's going to put all its shots into the wraiths. All right. So I'll start with the auto guns. There are four models that are in rapid fire range, so 11 shots hitting on uh, fours. And your strength five, not, I'm sorry, tough five. Not That's the one. Tough six. So I'm wounding on fives, not sixes. For two, which is good. All right, and two three-up involves, which I make. Fair enough. All right, now there are two mining lasers hitting on fours. Both hit. Wounding on threes, because strength nine. Both wound. AP minus three. It doesn't matter, your three-up involves. Three-up involves. Made, made both. And then the one crack grenade coming out of the grenade launcher, hitting on a four. Okay, and then this squad's going to go ahead and do the same thing, and hopefully you don't make all your three-ups. Fair enough. All right, and the second squad shooting their shots in. Five of them are in rapid fire, so I'll have 12 this time. And hitting on fours once again. No, we're near as good. One, and wounding on fives. For one. All right, well, one three-up, which I make. Mm-hmm. Two mining lasers, both miss, crack, hits, wounds on a three, wounds. One three up, 
Yeah. Damn. D3 damage for two. Okay. All right, next up is going to be this battle tank, and he's going to put all his shots into the wraiths as well, starting off with his three heavy bolters, hitting on fours because he did not move. Strength five versus tough five, so wounding on fours. For three of them. AP minus one doesn't matter because you're three up. Three, three, three ups. Yeah, Lost one. one, so that's a dead... Take out one of those wraiths. No! Hey, not you. You're fine. Get back up. Uh, yeah, I'll do the battle cannon next. Battle cannon, 2d6 number of shots, because he did not move. For five. Hmm. I'm going to command point that one. For seven. Seven shots, hitting on fours. One, two, three. Wounding on threes. All wound. And three three ups. Damn. Move. Is that just one damage? Or? D three damage. For two. Damn it. And his heavy stubber. Three shots hitting on fours. Two hits. And then wounding on fives so with only strength four. No. Okay. Over there, or do you have more guns? Uh, no, that's it for him. Okay. Uh, next up, I'm going to quick jump up to the heavy weapons team, and they're going to fire all their shots into the immortals down there that are standing in the open. All right. So, total of nine shots, and they're going to be hitting on fours, because they did not move. Yes, that is nine. Strength five versus tough of four, so threes to wound. One off the table. For three wounds with AP minus one. And that'll be three four ups. Of which I make two. Uh, he's going to go ahead and fire his battle cannon into the Reyes. Um, along with his heavy bolters. And then I think I'm going to put his heavy stubber into the warriors there. So start off with the heavy bolters going into the wraiths. Nine shots hitting on fours. Five hits and wounding on fours because strength five versus top five. Four, three wounds. All right, well, three, three ups. Made all three. All right, 2d6 number of battle cannon shots because he did not move. For five. Hmm. That, that roll seems awfully familiar. It does. And hitting on fours. For two. And wounding on threes. For snake no. eyes. And your other shot going into the warriors. Three shots hitting on fours. Two misses. And wounding on a four. One wound. All right. And one, no AP? No AP. One three up? No, they're four up. They're four up, sorry. Oh, it would have been nice if it was a three up. That's one dead warrior. Oh, you can, you're going to get them back on a four up anyway on your turn. Yeah. Uh, that was... That was some lackluster shooting. It had nothing to do with the amount of output I could do. I just could. kind of rolled poopy in the second tank, and uh, you rolled a lot of three-ups. I rolled a lot of three-ups. I think a lot of those were sixes, which scares me for the later rounds. Is I just can't imagine me continuing that. All right, well, the advantage to you, because I didn't actually take out the Wraith unit. Yep. All right, and it's going on to your turn. So, uh, for Necrons turn two, before reanimations, no, before movement, I have to do reanimations. So, I've got one missing from this group, so on a four up, I get him back. Ah, darn it, I do not. And then for the Immortals, I've got one missing. On a five up, I get him back. No, it would have been amazing if it was a three. Uh, and I'm not spending the command points to uh, do the reanimations for them. So, on to movement. All right, so after movement, I'll start with the easy one. Didn't move. Necron Warriors moved up their five inches, just kind of getting under this area, getting ready to shoot up there at the heavy weapons team. Cryptech went along. Uh, Catacomb Command Barge moved up, also ready to shoot at that heavy weapons team. This group of Immortals moved over, ready to throw some shots over there, and the Canoptic Wraiths 
kind of shifted up, ready to uh, enter the scrum. And I did not deep strike, or un-deep strike my uh, death marks this turn. Yes. So out of that, uh, on to shooting. I'm going to be, let's go with uh, over here first, with those guys. All right, so they've got eight shots going into Eeny, Meeny, Money, that group right there, the one not in cover. So eight shots hitting on threes. Four, three misses. Aw, no, uh, no sixes. And wounding on threes as well. For one, ugh, that. Silver oh. came from my last wound. Oh, <laughs> that's. One five up armor. Yeah, he made it. Oh, guys, come on. That was sad. That's okay. Your race are going to wipe the unit anyway. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I shouldn't say that. It'll probably like, kill one now because I said it. Uh, moving on to that side of the board with the... Im no, those are immortals. Warriors. Warriors. So everyone's now in range. All right, so nine shots going in from them into the heavy weapons team. Hitting on threes. No, twos because my will be done or wave of command. I don't think you rolled a two though. Uh, not a one. Except these four ones. Get out of here. No one loves you. Uh, so then, yep, five hits and wounding on threes as well. Four, three. Yay, the unit will survive. It will. Damn it. Three five up armors. Made one. So one dies and another one's dead. Another one. And lastly, in your shooting phase is my catacomb command barge. All right, so the Catacomb Command Barge is also shooting up into the Heavy Weapons team. He's got three shots with his uh, Tesla Cannon, hitting on twos. All hit, and that's going to be two extra shots, or two extra hits, because of that six. And wounding on twos as well. Strength six, tough three. So that's two three fails, three possible wounds. Three four-up saves, no AP and in cover. Make two. Ah. Ah! It still lives. Yes. Uh, and that's the end of shooting. So charges. I am absolutely declaring a charge with the wraiths into the uh, group that is not in cover. Okay. And I'm going to spend a command point for extra explosives. Use this stratagem before a gene sealer cult unit from your army shoots or fires Overwatch. Up to 10 models from that unit armed with grenades can throw grenades. In this phase, instead of only one, no more than five models may throw demolition charges. That's okay, they're all armed with blasting charges. Oh no! All right, and the grenade launcher and blasting charges are exactly the same profile, so I'm just gonna throw a bunch of grenades at you. Ooh, fair that enough. That is 10 D6 number of shots. Ugh. Ooh, look at all them sixes. Let's go with 10, 20, 30, uh, 41, 47. Ugh. You're going to need more dice. I'm going to need all the dice. All right, and doing these in batches of 20, 20, and then 7. Looking for those 6s to hit in Overwatch. Uh, 4, 1, 2, 3 for the first 20. And second group of 20. One, two, three, four, five, six for the Nicer. second. Six for the second group, and then the last group of seven. Giving me two more, so eleven hits in total. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Eleven hits, and then wounding on fives because only strength three. Well, after all of that, two. Oh. Well, two three ups. You, yeah, you, you failed, failed one. one. There's only one wraith remaining. Ah. I will take it for one command point. Damn it. Oh, it's not the actual fight phase yet, so it doesn't count. He doesn't Damn get it. his whip coils. Don't get his whip coils. Oh, you can't fail the charge. No, I can't. I'm, I'm going to roll for it anyway, but I made it. Well, you got 10 inches. Do you want to wrap any unique places or just go straight forward? I'm just going to go straight forward. Boop. Woot! Whip coil time! All right, so my attack's in with the whip coils. I've got three attacks now, unfortunately. Could have had nine. Uh, hitting on threes for one. 
and wounding on twos. Wounds. And that's just one dead because AP minus two. Yep. All right, your attack's back. And everyone's gonna pile in. That's fair enough. We forgot uh, that bladed cog gives a six up invul. So before I roll these attacks, did my one guy survive with a six up invul? He did. Damn it! I did nothing. Get back in the fight, sir. Yeah, one extra attack. <laughs> 11 attacks coming from the unit, because it's full strength. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fives. No wounds. Yay, for me. All right, well, that's the end of my turn. Yep. Uh, they don't flee because they can't. Yes, because they're leadership seven base, plus one for being brood brothers. So, yay, leadership eight. And so on to Gene Sealer's turn two. All right, and at the start of the movement phase, I am spending one command point on cult reinforcements to return D6 number of models to that unit. For two, which is Rich. oddly enough the number of casualties that unit has. Oh, damn it. Turn two movements for the almost said guard, Gene Stealer cult. Uh, stayed put, stayed put, fell back out of combat, getting safely behind the building here. Stayed put, and stayed put in the crater. So, on to, uh, oh, and none of my deep strikes are arriving for turn two. They will be arriving. Turn three. Bleh. Denying Moik's the uh, drop in his death marks free shots. Yep. So, let's go on to shooting, where this unit's going to start off by targeting that. Starting off with 12 last, last guns, or auto guns. Going into it, I'm going to throw a grenade with one of them. Ah, uh, okay. So, 12 last guns, hitting on fours. Wounding on fives. For one. Okay. One. Three up. Failed. Damn it. One damage. D6 number of shots from the one f blasting charge. For six. All right, and these six shots, hitting on fours. Four. Four of them. And then wounding on fives. One. One three up. That's a three up. I need his back. Alright. Two mining laser shots hitting on fours. One hit, one miss. Wounding on a three. Wounded. Three up. No. Damn it. D3 damage. One. one. And one crack grenade hitting on a four. Successfully hit. Wounding on a three. Successfully wounded. One three up save. Yeah. That's a dead wraith. God damn it. The option to re-roll that last one exists. It does. You could spend a command Just point. to have something else shoot it later. Yes. That's other shots not at me, or not at other things that are currently alive. So I will re-roll that. Fair enough. Three up. That is a six. All right. And just, just get there. Yeah. Uh, so that's got one wound remaining. So I'm gonna go and jump over to this tank where he's gonna fire his heavy bolters into him. Battle cannon and um, heavy stubber into the warriors. All right. So let's see if we can finish off that wreath with nine heavy bolter shots hitting on fours. Now this is a cock die. There you go. And then wounding on fours. For three. Three fours and three ones. It was either just made it or not at all. <laughs> three three ups then. Fail. Ah, damn it. Well, at least he didn't... At least I uh, took up the heavy stuff. Or bolters. Bolter? Heavy, heavy bolters. bolters. Alright, he did now. Alright. Three shots from a heavy stubbers going into your warriors, hitting on fours. Two. Wounding on fours. One. AP? No AP. Three up? Yep. Nope. Uh, you, you're definitely within the ruins. Yeah, I just always forget whether or not it's a three up or a four up for warriors. Cause... It's four base, so it's a three now. Alright. Three up. Still well, failed. Damn it. 2d6 number of shots from the battle cannon. For seven. Hitting on fours. Uh, four successful hits. Strength eight, so I'm wounding on twos. 
Oh, wound. AP minus two. Ugh. So effectively, AP minus one, so five ups. All right, two, five ups. Four, four dead. Woohoo! Well, five dead, including the one previous. Mm -hmm. Go battle tank. Took out a wraith and five warriors. It does for MVP. Yeah. I don't know the the group that stood their ground uh, grenaded <laughs> the wraith. They are they are the defense MVP right there. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then this battle tank is going to go ahead because he really can't see anything else. He's just going to put all his shots into those immortals. Fair enough. All right, and starting off with the three heavy bolters coming out of the tank into those immortals. Hitting on fours. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take five hits. And then wounding on threes. Yeah, three wounds with AP minus one. And I can definitely draw a line of sight. Where oh, yeah, more. absolutely. So, uh, three four ups then. I made one. Two go down. Alright, uh, heavy stubber. Three shots hitting on fours. Fours. Alright, two uh, hits and then wounding on fours again. Both. And no AP on the heavy stubber. Two three ups. Made them. Alright, and 2d6 number of shots from the battle cannon. For eight. Hey. Hey, it's getting better. It is. And hitting on fours. Uh, well, that's not. Ugh. Five misses. And wounding on twos. I'll take all these. AP minus two. Ugh. All right, so three five ups. And that's that's the unit. All right, well, that's three points to you. First blood and two unit kills. Uh, things are not looking too great for you. No, they're not. They really aren't. All right, well, my last unit to go is my now really uh, reinforced unit. So fire all their heavy bolters down into the warriors down there. Fair enough. So nine shots hitting on fours. I like how this doesn't count as moving, but even if they did, actually, no, they wouldn't benefit for that because they're brood brothers. They don't get the cult benefits. Ah. They do get a plus one uh, to the leadership, though. So three hits and then wounding on threes. Ooh, for one. That's a lot of ones in that roll along. AP? Minus one, so you get your four. Four up. Well, it didn't well, work. No. Ooh, six from that unit got killed this turn. Ugh, that's... That's, that's leadership. a leadership. That's leadership four for them. It is. And that is it for my shooting, and I am now well outside of 12 inches to charge anything, so that is going to be the end of turn two for the Gene Steelers. You need to make your morale. I need to make my morale. Why did you roll two? I don't know. I never... For some reason, I thought it was that. That's 7th edition. Ah, uh, why do I keep thinking of 7th edition morale? Because it was the one you learned. Fair enough. Should I just do a reroll entirely? Yeah, or you, have go... re you have to reroll entirely. All right, here you go. One dice for leadership. Or... Right now, you're leadership four, so a five or a six, any flea. All right, here we go. Three. All right, you're fine. Yay. And as we go into Necrons. So, before we go on to turn three, uh, because of hyperlog hyperlogical strategist, there we go, I can say it, I, because I spent one command point this past turn, I get to re-roll, or roll, uh, and see if I get it back on a five up. I do not. Well, you've still it. got four more command points than me at the moment. Yes. All right, so uh, Necrons turn three. Before any movements or anything like that, I'm going to be doing reanimations on the Warriors group. So, first off, I'm going to be spending two command points on enhanced reanimation protocols, so I get to reroll once. They're still within range of the Cryptek, so I still get that up on four ups. So, seven, four ups, rerolling ones. You did. Need it. I didn't need the re-rolling one, so I'm sad about that. But I still got one, two, three, six four, back. five, six back. Sweet. Um, on a movement. So after I spent those command points, I'm going to be doing a... Uh, do I get them back on five ups? No. Right. Fair enough. Movement for Necrons. I had everyone just shift up their full move. Um, and the death marks came in. Right there, just nine inches away, ready to shoot up that unit. Uh, speaking of shooting, I'll just get right into it. So, starting with 
this group of warriors going right into the heavy weapons team, hoping to actually kill it this time. Unfortunately, only this first front group are in rapid fire range, so it's going to be a total of 15 shots going into the heavy weapons team. So, 15 shots hitting. I'm not sure if I said it on camera yet, but you off camera. Said it off camera, yeah. Off camera, I definitely said it. I gave wave of command to that group of Necron warriors. So, 15 shots hitting on twos. Four. Three misses. And wounding on threes. Four, one, two, three, four. Four misses. So, seven wounds? Yes. Five ups. Which I will make two of. So, that's one base, another base, one wound remaining. Uh, next, it's going to be Cryptek because it is in range for its Staff of Light. So, three shots hitting on threes. Four. I need to do one, and I hit with only one. I'm going to re-roll one of these. Spending a command, command point. Sure, you don't want to save it for the wounding? Ah, oh, you're right. Damn it. Uh, also, I want to save it for like that. So I'm just going to go with one for right now. There's still things that can kill that one team. Uh, so wounding on threes. Wounds. Six up save. No. Okay. Yay! One point for me. Yeah. No, my heavy weapons team, I can't regen you again. Haha. -ha. So next, or lastly over on this side of the board, for me at least, is going to be the Catacomb Command Barge firing first off his Abyssal Staff at the tank. And, uh, his, that, and his other gun at. Oh, and his other gun at. He's shooting everything at the tank. Fair enough. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so the way the Abyssal Staff works is that it automatically hits, but I have to roll 3d6 if I get, I believe, above your leadership. Yes. Uh, which is currently an 8. Yes. It does d3 mortal wounds. So let's see if I get it. Four. Oh, God, no. That's a four. That's Ugh. four. I don't think... Uh, no, I'm not even re-rolling that. That's, that's not going to make it. Yeah, you would need to get a... Five or a six. You need to get a six, because you need to get above my eight. True, I need to get a six. No, I'm not... not it's not happening. Uh, so then three shots on <laughs> that's Tesla. below the le lowest leadership in the game. It is. There's... I think that leadership five, I think, is the lowest in the game. What's the leadership of a conscript? Five. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> All right, next is going to be the Tesla cannon going into the same target. Three shots hitting on twos. Get out of here. And wounding on threes? No, I'm tough eight. Wounding on fours. Four, one. <laughs> you would have wounded on a five, but sure. Unless your cannon is strength eight. No, yeah. Damn it, you're right. It was strength six. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot numbers. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, because I'm 50% obscured, I'll have a two up save because no AP on your gun. Yeah. Dag nab it. All right, well, then over here. All right, so finishing up my shooting phase with the death marks firing in to just this group in cover. So they've got 10 shots going in, hitting on threes. Uh, so five hits and wounding on threes again. Oh, sweet. Threes, but sixes cause mortal wounds. For one, definitely dead. And yeah, that's that's all of them. All hit. Yeah, or, well, all, all wound. Yeah, they all hit. So five regular wounds and one mortal wound. Yes. And CP of these guns. I don't zero. Remember. Only zero? It's zero. Okay. One damage, zero. Nice. They're not great. Four up saves, then. Which I make all but one. So two die. Uh, you and you, sir. All right, and I'm not declaring any charges. Fair enough. So, uh, on to your turn. All right, turn three movement for Gene Steeler Cult. Move the squad that took cover back out into the open, just so these two can focus down this unit. 
shifted the tank around to draw a line of sight and possibly put some shots out elsewhere depending on what's left. He moved less than his five inches, so he gets the fire scan twice. Over there, didn't particularly care about that. He moved near his maximum move straight forward, getting ready to uh, charge and tie up all of the warriors so they'll basically be inefficient for the remainder of the game. And deep striked in one group of Acolyte hybrids, Spent two points to make my Warlord appear within three inches of your guys out of line of sight. Ah. And then deep strike in the other two remaining units. Fair enough. That way, no matter which unit makes it in, they get all his juicy bonuses. And he is declaring the re-rolling ones target this unit. That is definitely a better way to use that, that two-point stratagem. I could have put him here to shoot, but just a little extra. Make yeah, it harder. make him, him defensible as well. Yeah. But still have his bubble. Yeah, so that is it for my movement. On to shooting, where I'll be starting off probably with this unit firing all into that. All right, so, yep, starting with this unit, firing into them. Starting off with their auto guns. There are five within rapid fire. So 10 shots, hitting on fours. Three misses, and then wounding on fives. Three wounds. That will be, I think, just three three-ups. Yep. Made them all. Made them all. Sweet. Two mining lasers. One hit, one miss. Wounding on a three. Ooh. No. Wounding on a two. Strength nine. Ah. Uh, AP? Uh, three for a mining laser. It's a las cannon, just shorter range. One six up. No, that's a four. Uh, it's just dead D3 damage to him. Okay. Eh, you. And one crack grenade. Hits. Wounds on a three. That's no. a one that's not a wound. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and have the squad basically do the same thing. All right, that's squad firing. Rapid firing the uh, seven regular guys. So 14 shots. Hitting on fours. Seven hits, seven misses. That's, I'll take that nice statistic. And then wounding on fives. I would rather not have that happen. Ooh. One wound. Ooh. One, three up. Made it. Two mining lasers. Hitting on four. Nope. Crack grenade. Yep, and crack grenade. Successfully hit. Wounding on a three. Successfully wounded. All right, one, four up. Yes, made it. Okay. Uh, battle tank can activate, fire all the shots into that. Fair enough. Start off with its heavy bolters. It's nine shots hitting on fives because he did move. One, two, three. Successful hits. And wounding on threes. Ugh. One, AP minus one. All right. One, four up. Made it. And heavy stubber hitting on fives. Ooh. That's a good roll for hits. And then wounding on fours. I'll take all of them. No AP. All right. Three three-ups. Kill two. Of course, the heavy stubbers. <laughs> See. Doop. Doop. Take the guys on the... S oh, yeah. I could have been pulling from cover. Oh, well. Oh, well. And the battle cannon moved less than four inches, so it gets to fire double. And ignores the penalty of moving from heavy weapons. Number of shots. For nine. Nine shots hitting on fours. Four hits. And strength eight versus tough of four, so twos to wound. Ugh, still got twos. Two ones and AP minus two. Alright, so that's two five ups then. For one more dead. Okay, yeah, well, one guy left. And I don't think anything else is going to shoot at him. So it, that unit might live. Yep. Uh, next battle tank is going to go ahead and fire all his shots into the warriors because that's the only thing you can really shoot at. Fair enough. Nine shots with his heavy bolters hitting on fives. For two hits. And wounding on threes. Two wounds. AP minus one. Two five ups. No. Two dead. Heavy stubber. Two shot Or three shots hitting on fives. None. And he did move, so he can only fire his battle cannon once. 
for three shots, but it does move, ignore the penalty and move in firing heavy weapons, hitting on fours. I'll take two hits, and wounding on twos. For two wounds, AP minus two. All right, well that's two six ups. No, so four, four dead. dead. I'll take it. Uh, and I think that's the end of shooting. All right. Uh, charges to declare. I'm gonna start off, well you need to pull your dudes from over there. Yeah. Uh, but that is going to charge the warriors and I guess multi-charge, depending on where you pull. Uh, and then I'm gonna do some charges elsewhere. So All right, let's start with that. All right, and since the way he pulled his models didn't leave me a nice clean path to his characters, I know I could probably get the Catacomb Command Barge, but I don't think the tank could do any real damage to it. So I'm just gonna charge the warriors. Fair enough. All right, so 10 shots going in, hitting on sixes. Four, not a one. Whoops. Damn. And I made it. Def you would have made it anyway. Now there's no kind of command point extra damage. No, they, change, do, so. they do not have a crush to them, whatever. Okay. All right, and then uh, over here, this unit is declaring a charge into them. All right, and at that point, it's now... How many can you see How many can draw? see, so I need to check that. So after checking, eight can see, because they can just barely see this guy. The last one, hiding closer to the building, can't see any of them. So, eight shots, hitting on sixes. Four more nothing. Just sad, I was really hoping for them to get the sixes. Yay! Charge distance. Uh, That's not enough. Would you like to spend a command point? Your last command point. Well, that would need a six then. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is instead charge with just the icon ward, which I think only that guy can see him. Uh, Even if I could tie you up with him, then the other group can free charge him. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the same, just that one. I can see most of this guy's gun, but it's just his gun, yeah. not his main model. So Two shots going in. Hitting on sixes. Nothing. Come on. That's Eight. a seven. You need more than a nine. So as long as you don't... Well, that does it right there. All right. And so then, if you want to charge with them then? A nine inch charge going into them. Well, I need a five or a six. Well, that's a five. That is a nine inch charge, that's enough to get within the one inch. Oh, goodbye guys. So, moving on to the fight phase, I have no other charges to declare. I'm gonna start with this unit, they're gonna do a three inch pile in. All right, and because they're within range of the Icon of the Cult Ascendant, they get plus one strength. Because they're within range of my Primus, they're also gonna get plus one to attack. And since this, this is the unit that the Primus marked with his Meticulous Planner ability, they get to reroll ones in the fight phase. Nice. For wounding. So, I'm starting off with the four regular guys, using their Rending Claws, eight attacks, hitting on twos. Uh, for six successful hits, strength five, so I'm wounding on threes, and re-rolling ones. Nope. So, I got four wounds, two with AP minus one, and two with AP minus four. Ugh. So, that's two dead Necrons and two four-ups. Well, I'm going to try my two four-ups for no and I don't know where that one that's went. That's a two. It's right here. Oh, so that's four dead. All right. And then the leader is going to step in with his bow and sword. He's got three attacks, hitting on twos. All successfully hit. And then wounding on threes because of the bonus to strength. All successfully wound with EP minus two. All right. Well, two five-ups. Three five ups, but it didn't uh, matter. Well, it didn't matter. Let me just roll that last. Yeah, he's still dead. That is a wiped unit. That is absolutely a wiped unit. And then this unit is going to go ahead and take a three inch consolidation. Um, actually, no, because that one's closer. So I'll do a three inch consolidation with him when it comes to him, and he's going to tuck in and get closer this way. So he has to just end up closer to the nearest enemy. Can he do that, though? Because he didn't. Yeah, you can still activate, pile in, and consolidate. You just Even won't be if able to, they are gone? Yes. Oh. That way, that way you get the, like basically a six inch move in. Huh. 
I thought if they they were gone, they were gone. Yeah, the unit can't do anything. But the guys that piled in still technically, it goes to them in the fight phase cycle. You can choose them. Yeah. Then they get the ability to three-inch pile in. Oh, I got nothing to fight. Towards the closest this enemy. enemy unit, which would which... be this. So he rotates in because he ends up technically a little bit closer. And then I choose not to consolidate. Mm, okay. I mean, if you want, I could do three inch consolidate, then pile in three inches. Okay, that's fair enough. That, that looks better, because the way I would have done it was have him come around that way. Because that would have been, in my brain, the closer. You don't have to be closest, as long as you end up closer oh, than you started. Ah, <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. So that all happens over here, and unless you want to interrupt... How many points do I have? You have five? five? Sure. Okay. Do you get your... It's at two points to get yeah. five attacks in? From Necron Warriors? Do you, do you, do you want to do it? I'm no. hitting on sixes. No. You, you can go ahead. All right. it, it, please, ladies first. <laughs> Lehman's Russ. <laughs> Le Lehman Russ is first. All right, Lehman Russ tank going in with his three attacks hitting on sixes. Ooh, I got one. Hey. Uh, wounding on a three to strength seven. I wounded. Oh my. Three up. Four up. Four up. Doesn't matter. You rolled a one. God damn it. You spent all of your six ups and five uh, earlier. ups early in the game this time. As, as soon as I had those, I, I knew it was done. All right. And my attack's back. Four attacks going in. Hitting them twos because they still technically are under my will be done till the start of your turn. Huh. Sure. Hitting on twos. Get out of here. And then wounding on... Uh, probably sixes. Six, tough, yeah. Tough eight. One. One. Three up save. Made it. Damn it. On to my turn, turn four. Four. All right, so Necrons, turn four reanimations for the death marks starting out. I've got four coming back on fives. For not a one, goodbye, death marks. For three ones. See, that would have been the time to use the uh, re-rolling ones. I don't know if it would be worth it still either. No. All right, well, then on to the Warriors, where I've got six mm -hmm. dice, but I'm probably only going to be able to get, like, maybe three three in there just because they have to stay with outside of one inch of the tank so coming back on four ups four two, two. all right well i can fit those in i'll put those in move and then come back all right so turn four movement for the necrons i had the uh, warriors just kind of stay in combat holding off more shooting from a tank so I figured might as well have it go both ways. Uh, the Cryptek jumped up onto the uh, building. Uh, I would have had this one do the same, but it can't because it's not infantry or yeah, beast cool. or so on. And then he did the same using just his base movement. And I'm hopefully going to take out this squad. I might be able to take out him as well, but I'm going with the squad first. Uh, but that aside, I'm actually going to start shooting at the uh, Icon Ward. <laughs> I'm going to take out the squad first, but first I'm going to shoot him. Yes, because I can. So, two shots hit. Oh, uh, and before I go any farther, I did give Wave of Command to the Cryptek. Yes. Not the uh, Necron Warriors, which at this point are just holding off the inevitable. Yep. So, uh, starting off with the uh, Death Mark. Two shots going into the Icon Ward, hitting on threes for both hits. And then wounding on threes. Wounding, let me see them sixes! No, no sixes, one wound. And no AP, correct? Uh, no AP. Zero AP for a character killing weapon. Sure. <laughs> That's the. Alright, and a five up save. And you want... I do one damage, unless you're going to... Six up, feel no pain. Oh, yeah. No, one damage. Okay, yay. I was like, I could have the other guys, one of them, look out, sir, for it. 
but I think I need them more alive than taking one wound on my dude. Fair enough. Just to soak more fire. So, one damage on the Icon Ward. Huzzah. Uh, next, I'm going to have the three shots from the Crypt Tech go into the uh, group of Acolytes. Yep. So, three shots hitting on twos. All hit. Wounding on threes. All right, and uh, well, th that was wounding. So EP minus two, I do believe correct for one of those things. Oh, uh, so I believe so. Would yes. ignore their armor, but a six up feel uh, in vault because of the bladed cog. Nope, and then a six up feel no pain. No. One good. Uh, and then that means, unfortunately, I'm putting every shot from my uh, catacomb command barge into that group. So starting with the three shots from the Tesla cannon, hitting on twos, all hit, wounding on twos. Yeah, because it's strength six. Hey! Two Wait, no, it, ah, damn it. But they all wound. Mm -hmm. And no AP, so five up saves. Which I didn't make any. And six up female paints. Made one. Yay! So two more will go down. Go away and go away. Uh, and then he's going to use his Abyssal Staff on that same unit, as I declared already. Yep. Now, for its current leadership, would that count any mm. negatives to morale? Uh, if you had, like, an aura effect that reduced their morale, then yes. But it the doesn't affect, morale like... morale phase is only... That's the only time that their morale drops as a result of casualties. Got it. Okay. So, just... Uh, Trying to get above an eight. Correct. I got above an eight. You did. So D three. Mortal wounds. For two. For two. Which is all that's required to kill that unit. Two six up feeling the pains. Nope, and that's the unit. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Yay! I did a thing with absolute focused fire. Yeah, it's their second well, unit gone. Not quite focused, but. That's we'll ignore him. Um. Eh. This seems like a dumb idea, but I'm gonna charge your Icon Ward with my uh, Warlord. Okay. Well, auto pistol. <laughs> Hitting on a six. No. Okay. Do I make it in? Ten inches. Yeah. I absolutely make yeah, it that's in. Gonna be enough. Yeah. Hitting on twos. All hit. Wounding on threes. For two possible wounds. Let me make sure that AP. Right, after looking, it is AP minus two. Okay, and then which is going to ignore his armor, so six up in vaults. Nope. And six up female pains. Made one failed one, so he takes another damage. Okay. Alright, and that's it. Oh, no. Over there. Yeah. So my what? I will pile in. So six attacks going in, hitting on threes for all but one, and wounding on sixes for one. No AP because it's just metal fists. Uh, three up armor. Yeah, made it. Your attacks back. Three attacks back, hitting on sixes. And then your attack's back here. Oh. Icon Ward swing in. He's got four attacks with a rending claw. Hitting on twos because he's still within range of the Primus. All successfully hit. And then he's going to be wounded on fives. For two wounds, both of them are sixes. So AP minus four on these. And no invul on... I don't think he has an invul. Let me look. Yep, no flavor of invul. So that's a... That's a seven save, which I cannot make, so I just take two damage. Yay! Darn. Take that. All right. Uh, that's that's it for my turn. I'm done. On to uh, Jesus of the Cult, turn four. All right, stay put in combat over there, because I don't have the forces to reinforce that quite yet. Over here, pressing forward just about everything. Tank moving 10 inches forward. 
just so he is technically closer to the Catacomb Command Barge, which I fell back away from, than any other Necron group other than this one guy. So, and both my Primus and the squad of Acolyte hybrids moved, getting ready to get some shots in and then charge in there. So, starting off shooting part of it, this unit is going to go ahead and shoot that, hopefully to knock him out. Fair enough. There are five guys within rapid fire, so it's going to be ten shots from their auto guns. Hitting on fours. And then wounding on fives. For one. One, three up. Cocked? No, I'll say cocked. Okay. You're still there we go. Still good. Alright, two mining lasers hitting on fours. One hit, one miss. Wounding on a two. Successfully wounded. AP minus three. You do have a two up because technically we're running this stuff as ruins. Yes, so... We've, we've always been running this stuff as ruins. Yeah, okay, got it. Thank you. So, five up. Yes. No, he's dead. He's dead, yeah. Jim. Yep. Excellente. <clears throat> now you can open up with your tank. Yes. Tank declaring all his shots into your warlord. Okay, then uh, quantum deflection. Fair I'm enough. spending the one point. Fair enough. I'm saying it out loud. This is what I'm doing. All right, starting off with his three heavy bolters, hitting on fives because he did move. For two. Uh, you're a tough six, correct? Yes. So fives to wound. One wound, AP minus one. All right, and one four up. Made it with a four. Okay. Might as well take care of his heavy stubbers. Hit it on fives. Nope. And D6 number of shots from his battle cannon. For two. Norse penalty of moving and firing a heavy weapon with his turbid weapon. For fours, new no, double one. I feel as though I've wasted a command point, but I also feel justified in it. Uh, I'll, trick, I'll check to make sure if any of these guys have line of sight to your leader, and then if they don't, I'm just going to jump over there. I think I have some that are in hand flamer range, and I'm definitely within needle pistol. Fair enough. Okay, and then this unit is going to shoot at them. There are two auto guns that I can see. I would shoot the crypt tech, which pretty much everyone can see, but the warriors are technically just a hair closer to them than the uh, crypt tech, so they can't target the crypt tech. Ah, okay. Yeah, the one warrior's base is just like an inch closer. <laughs> Good job, warrior. You exist contently. So, two auto gun shots going into the overlord, hitting on fours. Wounding on a six. No. Okay. These guys. Six inch range, hand flimmers. Yeah, they're all in range. So that is going to be five D6 number of shots from their hand flamers going into the back of the overlord there. For 10, that was a five. Uh, and 13, so 23. Pretty good. All of them automatically hit, so rolling to wound. Only strength three on these hand flamers, so six is to wound. And this is the first batch of 20. Four, one, two, three, and then three extra for the 23. For one more, so four wounds. Ooh, pretty good. Four, three ups, or? Yeah, it'd be three ups. Okay. No AP on it. That's three, and you rolled two ones. It's four, oh, three it's up. four, sorry, four. Okay. Okay, made two. And I need two ones for uh, quantum deflection because oh, yep, it does last. Yep, the it round. keeps going for the whole phase. I took one damage. You had to deny a hand flamer. I had to deny a hand flamer, absolutely. Um, the pistol hitting on a three. No. Okay. Oh, yeah, the Eichenward. No, the needle pistol. No, I was going with the Ward can't shoot. Yes, he fell back. Yeah. 
All right, um, on to charges. Uh, my Primus is going to declare a charge in. All right. Three shots from the Tesla cannon. Hitting on sixes. Nope. None. Uh, the auto hit Abyssal Staff. All right, well, you definitely beat my leadership. Yes. You got a 17. <laughs> Damn. What is his leadership, by the way? Nine. Okay. And uh, D3 Mortal Wounds. For well, one. Uh, I cannot fail this charge. No. Made it. You did not fail this charge. Charging in with the uh, hybrids. I did not fail that charge. Cool. No other charges to declare. I'm going to start off with the Acolyte Hybrid swinging in, starting off with the Rending Claws. All right. Uh, hitting on twos. For one miss. Uh, There's still strength five, but you're still tough six, so wounding on fives. Six is rend. Well, one rend. Uh. Oh, that, that's AP it. minus four. Okay. Yeah. Everything else um, was a, a miss of a wound. Goes through. Okay. And then three bone sword attacks. Wait, do I still have... Or is I that only it, on shooting? That's only on shooting. I think it only lasts for the phase it was activated. That plus quantum deflection, uh, quantum shielding, I think only works on shielding anyway. Or no, it works on, on shooting. It works on everything. We, we established that oh, okay, shielding never mind. works on everything. So it doesn't specifically say in the shooting phase, protect blah, 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 Sweet. whatever. So three bone sword attacks hitting on twos. No, double one. And wounding on a five. No. No. All right, do you want to interrupt? I'm going to spend two command points to interrupt and attack your Primus. Go right ahead. So he's got three attacks going in, hitting the Primus, hitting on twos, for two, and wounding on... I think you're strength five, so threes. Threes. Both wound. Three up invuls. Damn. Relic gives him a four up invul plus the... Oh Blade yeah, plus cog the, gives yep. plus one to involves up to a so minimum of three. He's got a pretty. He's sitting pretty right now. Yeah, with a three up involve. All right, well, that's it for me. Mm -hmm. And then he gets to attack back with five attacks, uh, hitting on twos. Four successful hits. He is strength six, so wounding on fours. Two wounds with AP minus two. Yep, that'll be two five ups. Made it. Okay. I think you only took one damage from this melee. I did. Yeah. Well, that sucks, but I guess on to uh, your turn, turn five. No. Oh, yeah, we gotta do that fight. And since you're, you have to end the fight. Yep. So my three attacks starting off, hitting on six hits. One hit. Wounding on a three. Nope, didn't even wound. And then my now one, six. two, three, four, five, six. So six attacks going in, uh, hitting on threes. Four, that is way too many sixes. That's only three. Uh, but all hit, wounding on sixes. One. One. C can we swap those two rolls, please? Uh, three up save. Made it. Damn it. You made every three up save with a three. All right, now it's on to my turn, turn five. All right, so Necron's turn five, uh, reanimations. I've got four maybe coming back. The Cryptek's no longer there, so it's going to be on five ups. Four, one, coming back. Cool, on to movement. All right, so Necron movement. I had the Catacomb Command Barge shift back just to get out of melee, and uh, the Cryptek just shifted over a little bit just to get a little bit farther away from the tank and all those guys over there, but staying on the cover. Yeah. So, uh, shooting-wise, I'm going to start with the Cryptek going into the group of uh, Acolytes. Yep, Acolyte hybrid. Three shots. Uh, hitting on threes. threes because I did not give wave of command. Because you were a little far away at that point. Yes. So, 
Hitting on threes. For one. Wounding on threes. For none. Excellent. And those dice can go away. And then three shots from... Oh, I'm putting... You put all your shots into the icon ward? How many wounds does he have left? Two. two. He's got two left. But he does have a uh, five-up armor save, a six-up involve, you ignore that. And he has a six-up feel no pain. And even after he's wounded like that, a four-up can pass off to someone else. True. Does he, he's actually within range for that? It's a three-inch bubble. Okay, he's absolutely within range for that. All right, in that case, uh, yeah. Everything into the icon ward. Mm-hmm. So, three shots starting off with the Tesla cannon, hitting on twos. All hit. And you Tesla. And I finally Tesla it. So, that's two more. Well, it's the second time you Tesla it. I meant recently while shooting over there. And wounding on threes. Ooh. Not great. So, two. Alright. Two five up armors. Made one. Uh, six up feel no pain. Nope. And then a four up pass off to the nearby unit. No, so he'll take a wound. He's down to one. And then the uh, get above an eight. Abyssal staff. I got yeah. above an eight. So how many? It doesn't actually matter. Because he has one. Oh, yeah. I have a six up feel no pain and a pass off. Three. So six up feel no pains. Made one, four pass offs. Nope, he still dies, and one from the other unit goes away. Cool. So yeah, I end my turn. I'm done. Boot. On to Diesel Cult. Turn five. All right, battle tank keeping the warriors busy. I mean, it's kind of a waste of points because, but whatever, we'd end up in this weird charge v shot per cycles over there. Dang. So I'm fine with him just basically blocking him from getting a line breaker. Stayed put with this battle tank. Both these uh, neophyte hybrid squads moving up. Everything's now in rapid fire against that. And my acolyte hybrids and my primus are going to go and see if they can't charge their way up and take out uh, Mike's lonely Cryptic. cryptic. Sounds like a plan. All right, so let's start off the shooting phase with... I guess we'll start off with these guys. Just they're gonna small squad first into him. All right. Starting off with the small squads. Uh, auto cannon. Or yeah, not auto. Cannon. Auto cannon. Everyone's carrying auto cannon. No uh, auto guns. Ten shots because of rapid fire. Hitting on fours. One, two, three, four, five. And then wounding on sixes. None. And two mining lasers, hitting on fours. One hit, one miss. Wounding on a three. Successfully wounds, EP minus three. All right. So you have a six up save. One six up save. No. D3 damage for two. Eh. There it is. One crack grenade, hitting on a four. Successfully hits, wounding on a four. Successfully wounds, EP minus one. One, four up. Made it. All right. And is that the end of that group? Yep, that's it for the small group, and then the... Uh, for the big group, quantum deflection. Because I should have done it earlier. Fair enough. This squad's at full strength, so 14 shots from their auto guns, Hitting on fours. And wounding on sixes. Four, one. Uh, one, three up. Goes through, one one up, no one below. <laughs> Technically the other way. Eh, fair enough. So he takes one damage from auto guns. That's a five. Two mining lasers hitting on. Uh, you did not quantum shield the first mining laser that did two. Just pointing that out. N no, because that was from the other group. Yeah, but it did two damage. You could have. Oh, you're right. All right. Well, yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. Of course. <laughs> All right, you're at three. I'm at three. God damn it. 
two mining lasers hitting on fours, both hit, wounding on threes, one wound, AP minus three. One six up. Made the six up. Stop dragging this out. <laughs> and one crack grenade hitting on a four. Nope. All right. Battle tank firing everything into him. He did not move this turn, so full ballistic skill. Nine shots from his heavy bolters, hitting on fours. And wounding on fives. Four, three wounds, AP minus one. Three, four ups. Made one, lost two. It's one damage a pop. One damage a pop. Both go through. Back up to five damage. Back up to five. Three heavy stubber shots, hitting on fours. Nope. And 2d6 number of shots from his battle cannon for six. Wounding on fours. I'm sorry, hitting on fours. For three. Nope. For two. And that was a one. I thought it was ah, a six. Okay. Um, and then wounding on threes. Two wounds, AP minus two. Two five ups. Don't make either. D3 damage each. Two ones. Exciting. Two maybe ones. I ignored one of those. So I'm at six. Ah, you would be dead. But I was a nice guy. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's, that's, he lives. And that's, yeah, he, he lives. That's the difference right there. All right. Um, Crypt deck? Yeah. Uh, start off with the Needle Pistol from the Primus, hitting on a 2. Successfully hits. You're not a vehicle, so wounding on a 2. Successfully wounds. AP? Hold on. Pretty sure it's some ridiculous amount. Needle Pistol is AP 0. Oh. Okay, well, one, three up. Yep. Made it with a 6. And I think there are two Hand Flamers in range, just shooting straight up. Fair enough. Two Hand Flamers, D6 number of shots from each. Six and wounding on fives. It's only strength three. One. All right. One three up. Made it with a three. Okay. That's it for shooting. Charges to declare. I'm going to send the uh, acolyte hybrids up first. Fair enough. Three shots at them, hitting on sixes. None. Do you make the six inch charge? I got a five. All right, uh, I'll send the Primus up because he can handle it by himself. Three shots hitting on a six. One, uh, wounding on a three. Wounds. Three up interval. Made it. Come on, charge distant. Two. Well, that's uh. Are, are, you, are you charging with them at all? You're no gonna point. blob me. There'd be no real point. Okay. They just—they don't have the melee part of it. Yeah, fair enough. I possibly could sneak in the two damage if I rolled really good and you stop rolling good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no. All right. Well, that is the end of turn five. Yes, I'm currently up by three Four. points. Four points. You didn't give yourself the one point. Oh uh, yeah. You are currently up by three points. On a one or a two, the game ends. Do you want to, or shall I? Uh, you're currently losing. Nope, we're going on to turn six. <laughs> All right, uh, well, my turn six then. Yep. All right, Necron, turn six, reanimations. So just three five ups for one more back. All right, uh, then on to movement. All right, Necron movement, turn six. I had the Cryptek hop down off the building, uh, getting, having the uh, Primus be the closest target. Uh, the Catacomb Command Barge shifted over, once again, having the Primus be the cl Yeah, you're, you're basically no, from the same distance. Okay, basically getting the Primus as the closer target. And finally, getting out of melee, and just making it into line breaker with 
uh, one, maybe two models. Yep. Uh, I had them hopefully live via tank. Yeah, I'll get a free turn to shoot at them, but he's got three command points left. He can spend two of it, even if there's one model left, to have it just stay. Yep. Line breaker. Absolutely. Um, now on to shooting-wise. I think I'm actually going to start with the... Uh, I'm going to put everything into the Primus. And I'm going to start with the uh, Abyssal Staff. So, once again, just got to get over an 8. Nope, 9 for him. Oh, well. Of which that... Oh, God, that is. <laughs> you got a 16. I got a 16. All right, D3 mortal wounds. D3. 3. All right. I'll attempt to pass these all off to the nearby... I'll pass two of these off to the nearby unit, which I failed, so he takes three. Sweet. Uh, and then... <clears throat> so he's got one wound left. Yep. Uh, and then next is going to be the Tesla Cannon going into the Primus. Three shots, hitting on... I'm about to say six is hitting on twos. For six all Tesla. three, plus two for Tesla. And then wounding on threes. For all but one. For three up involves. Make them all. Ugh, damn it. So, Primus is still alive with one wound left. Which means that... You do I'm, not have enough firepower to kill both units. I don't. Which means that I'm just going to focus on your Primus. Recommendation? Since my Primus has one wound left, try to kill three from the nearby unit to either force a flee or when you get into melee, you only have to kill two things with one wound. Fair enough. So, yeah, uh, the Cryptek is now going to fire at the group of Acolytes. So, three shots, hitting on threes. For all three. And wounding on threes. For all three. And if you minus two, I have a six-up invul. Six-up invul. Made one, so two are going to go down. All right. So there's two left in that unit. I'm thinking that I'm going to be multi-charging with... Who do I want to go in first? I'll have the Cryptek go in second. So, uh, starting off charges with the Catacomb Command Barge going in making a multi-charge on both groups. I'm pretty sure I'm... Is my base outside of six? No. Not for that guy, but yes, for this guy. So one hand flamer uh, and a needle one pistol. needle peel pistol. Pistol. So hand flamer, a d6 number of shots for two. Auto hitting, wounding on sixes. Nope. Needle pistol hitting on a six. Hey. Hey. Wounding on a six. Hey. Damn. <laughs> No AP. Okay, three up. Damn! <laughs> Take T3 damage. Take three. <laughs> the pistol kills. Is that three and one go? That's three and one Quantum go. Quantum shielding. Quantum shielding, yes. You don't get below it. The needle pistol kills him. Are you kidding? <laughs> After all that! <laughs> World War II! Alright, well, uh, I now can't meet points-wise with you, so GG. <laughs> I was going for the points! Are <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? Fucking needle pistol. <laughs> Boom! Got him. Does it explode? That, if it does, it only affects the cryptic. You're far enough away. I know. No. no it doesn't explode. <laughs> oh my god, I should have started with the cryptic. He had more wounds! You yeah, have the chance of fucking hitting a six, wounding a six, doing three damage and you're not <laughs> making this three up save and the two below quantum shielding. 
Oh <laughs> my god. Statistically, that should not have happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's a great way to wrap up. That this is episode. a fantastic way to wrap it up. With the Gene Steelers just going, no. And the cryptic going, I want none of this. Uh, bye. Nah, bye. <laughs> just shot them clean off of it. Oh, the drivers are still fine. It's just the the overlord lost it. Yeah, it's the little needle stuck in the ah! robotic eye or whatever. Oh my god! All right, I definitely like the way uh, you played guard. I'm sorry, Gene Steeler <laughs> called. Oh, uh, <laughs> if I had more points, the melee drop in at the end would be so great. Oh yeah, just this is a thousand point game or higher. You'd have a contingent of guard that was your main. Like you, in your battle lines, start table. Yeah, you soak up all the them moving up the board or exchanging long range fire, and then turn three or if necessary turn two, your melee line shows up and engages. Yeah, after like, they've essentially broke to deal with yeah your long range that even if you're across the table can still are an issue because yeah. you have to go and find that damn weapons team <laughs> that regen all the way back. Yeah, the ability to return D6 models to a heavy weapons team is so good. That's amazing. Because I'm thinking not necessarily heavily bolters, but LAS cannon team or rocket oh. team. That's It's fantastic, absolutely. Yeah. It's a lot mortar of Mortar team. I don't care about a mortar team. Okay. Their, their mortars are, I think, six points, five points for oh. a mortar. Yeah. Oh, but anyway, I... That's a playing point. it... Playing Gene Steeler Cult is a mixed bag. Mm -hmm. Definitely works in this fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, next time I run them, I'm probably going to see if I can run some uh, nids along with them. Yeah. Go the opposite route. See how that works. Uh, but either way, hope you all enjoyed the game. Have a good one.